there are certain situations and circumstances in which a biodigester being constructed will have to stand up tall like the one that we have done here i'm going to show you why in this video so this is a three bedroom house two apartments and there's a division separating each family from the other so the whole idea is to do two biodigesters that will serve each of the apartment there are four toilets in each and then when we came here we got the understanding from them about how the whole mindset is going to be when it comes to how to place the biodigester we agree on the location because the pipes are going to go to a specific place and then the wastewater will be connected to them and all of them will be sent all the way to the wastewater drainage that will be constructed in front of the building or outside the building and then we decided to do the digester and leave the outlets for them so that when the whole final construction and the connections are done then all can fit in perfectly like it's supposed to so these are the digesters the one is here right now it's not looking good on the eye but we'll give it some time and then we know after the fill and everything is done it's going to look very very well and perfect there are some times you have to construct a biodigester and then let it be up the main reason most of the time is because filling is going to be done on the property that you are constructing the biodigester in this particular case this biodigester that you see here that we have constructed is such that the filling when the final filling and everything has been done it has to look the part and it has to conform to the final outlook of the house the whole idea is that you need to know the level on which the via digester or the house outlook is going to be like and then you try and match it to the bio digester this is from the background that i've done a few videos that people have come to me and said my bio digester is too up and i don't like the way it's looking and i have to tell them no wait it's because of the level or the slope or the gradient of how the house is going to look like in the final picture that's why i'm doing the bio digester the way i'm doing it but when it's all set and done You'll be pleased with the work that we have done and then you know that it's done with the technical mindset and it's done by technical people who understand how is it to construct a bio digester there have been times that we have done digesters that after the final filling and everything has been done it has completely been submerged and we couldn't locate it and then we had to go and dig it up and lay extra blocks or do another concrete work on it just to bring it to a level and let it flash with the final floor or the tiling and sometimes i mean it costs extra money it's inconvenient sometimes to the homeowner and those who are constructing the houses so the whole understanding is that when you're doing a bio digester it's key you know how it's going to be in the final outlook you also want to agree on the fact that you want to do your work first before the final plumbing and everything else is done and then it makes it easier for everybody to be on the same page when you are ready to go so do not watch such a bio digester and complain that it's not pleasing or it's not looking good on the eye in the final analysis this is actually how technically it must be done so that when the final filling and all the pipe works and plumbing works and everything has been done it's going to look perfectly like how you wanted it and then you'll be happy with the job that has been done for you the next video showing up on your screen right now will further explain to you how by digesters work and how as a homeowner you can use it as an option when it comes to human waste management issues. As a, a learner or constructor of biodigester, it also lets you know how to construct a biodigester and construct it professionally.